and the kini namaskaram singh and i'm very grateful to the administrative members of tana of uh, ap also ata ata oh. members yes and the administration and so many of our abhyasis not only from telugu land but all over this this program especially is for the telugu telugu speaking uh, public so i start with some little telugu that i have picked up and the kini namaskaram sir <laughs> well <laughs> this meeting is not about promoting a book especially i like to stay in touch with you all on a regular basis unfortunately during this last session we had and now it's almost 8 or 9 months and i regret not seeing you all for one reason or the other i would like to make this at least once a month um uh, sunday session i mean it's sunday early morning in united states so we can have such sessions on a regular basis and i was very impressed with the idea umma garu was sharing with us about how we can give a gift to the next generation if we give them power the power of money it is good we think that we are protecting them with money yes but power like anything else it's a double edged sword either it can take you up or take you down and let's hope that the power we give them money we earn money education we give them will prepare them for the future but nothing like spirituality can be the best spirituality is the is the best gift that we can transfer we can share and what is spirituality before we can grant a gift of anything i should be having it in myself if i am a beggar can i give anything except my prayers i have to possess something i have to have that spiritual wealth before i can share it with anyone and especially our own children so and how do i make myself increasingly more and more spiritual what i am today will i be able to remain the same tomorrow no nature does not keep us static either you go up or you go down going up is always demanding some level of efforts if we remain in comfort zone that means you are not making any effort some level of discomfort some level of eff- you know labor i would say labor of love has to be put in even in sadhana even in bhakti to start with afterward it becomes effortless see for us for example it will take effort lot of efforts to lead to live a kingdom if you are married to a prince you will not be able to live your prince very easily cuz you have everything there but meera was able to do that just like that she left it not that i recommend her actions no not at all i don't want all of you to become meeras and leave your ranas at home that will be counterproductive cuz there are ways the heartfulness way is one whereby we learn to lead a balanced life balanced life means leading a grahastha jeevan sacrificing whatever is needed but without knowing that it's a sacrifice moment you become cognizant of the fact that oh i have sacrificed something for the sake of love then it is no longer love it is transaction then see it is in it is something that brings you joy effortlessness always brings you joy though before i become effortless and automatic some level of effort will always be required so the demand yoga demands daily practice until this practice becomes our second nature in the beginning we may meditate 
morning and evening, morning and evening, morning and evening. It goes on and on and on and on until my mind becomes meditative, whereby there is no need to meditate anymore again. Because you are always in that state of mind. That frame of mind is always in a state of meditation. Meditation is no longer an action. It becomes a state. It becomes your being. It becomes your second nature. So that's what we are heading towards. Mm -hmm.